We're back with another round of Apartments Around the World. Ever wonder what it's like to live in a different city? Three people in different neighborhoods invite us into their homes and give us a glimpse of what it's like to live in Toronto, Canada. First up, Davenport. Hey everybody, my name is Jason and I live in the Davenport area, which is considered the Midtown West area of Toronto. Why I love living in Davenport is it feels like a small community within Toronto. We are centrally located, so it gives me access to getting in and out of the city really quickly. I pay $1,000 for my unit, uh, which is considered very cheap for what I have. Because it's a bachelor, I live on my own, so I don't have any roommates. On top of that, for where I'm located, I have access to a balcony, which is like very unique considering how much I pay per month. So in my living area, I'm technically on the upper floor of the house. It's basically one large room, but the way that I consider it is one large room, which is my sleeping and chilling area. So living in a 330 square foot space was a pretty uh, big decision for me because I was definitely downsizing from what I was living in previously. It's really forced me to look at, you know, the things that are actually important in my life and live with what I need and within my means. So I don't have a formal dining area, but I have this folding table that doubles for five seats if I want to have people over for dinner. These benches folds out in stores in my kitchen and then these stools double as plant stands which live in the corner there normally. This is my den where I do majority of my work. I also have about 35 plants in my apartment from the fiddle leaf fig to some other ficus. Majority of my furniture is thrifted and restored by me. This desk I got for $12 and sanded down and gave it a new walnut finish. And then the TV hutch that I have here was thrifted and re-sanded and refinished. And this chair sanded and reupholstered. So living in 330 square feet definitely poses some challenges when it comes to having clothing. All of my clothing gets stored in here, all the seasons, and I have some of the other goods stored in the drawers here. The nice thing about my space is that because I have the outdoor or the landing area here, all of my outdoor gear and jackets don't have to occupy space in my closet. So another one of the things that I have living in a smaller space is to hang dry my clothes. I have this indoor clothing line. You hook it up to the wall, you drag it across, and hook it up to this hook here, and it's good to go. One of the amazing parts that I have in my apartment is my balcony. Having access to outdoor space is huge. So thanks so much for watching and visiting me in my 330 square foot apartment. Maybe you all will visit Toronto eventually. Now we're heading to Queen West. Hey, my name is Lisa. I'm a producer here at BuzzFeed and I live in Toronto. If you say Toronto, you will get dragged. The second T is kind of like, you skip over it. Toronto, not Toronto. So I live around Queen and Bathurst. It's kind of close to Chinatown. It's kind of close to Kensington Market and Trinity Bellwoods Park is just a 10 minute walk from here. It's known for always having a hustle and bustle energy. We pay 2,200 for this apartment. I live with my fiance and we split it in half, about 1,100 each. Our apartment is about 900 to 1,000 square feet and it was built in 2000 and six, so it's about 14 years old. Hello and welcome to the kitchen. The kitchen also serves as a dining room and a living room, and this is all on the first floor of the townhouse. It's pretty good size for an apartment kitchen. We've had this fridge for a while, so it's actually covered in a bit of like dents and just some marks. So we just covered it up nicely with some old postcards. We have this snazzy machine i don't it does like four things i can't really tell you what it does exactly but i just use it as a microwave and then we have this microwave where we cook toasters no just joking but you know we didn't want to waste the space so it is the perfect uh storage solution for our toaster which does work and you know we don't want to leave our cat out ever we want to make sure that my cat tuna is feeling like she's part of the family when she's in the kitchen. So her little bowl is right here and she has a little custom kind of plate. You don't have to do too much walking when you're in a Toronto apartment. Everything is just steps away. Just a leather couch. I would have liked something a little bit cozier, but my cat sheds a lot. She's cute, 
but she is hairy. Her white fur is everywhere, so that was kind of the only solution we had. Right here, we have the powder room on the first floor. Even though it is like the communal powder room, I definitely have taken it over. I have tons and tons of products up here and here, stuff to the brim here. I just have a lot of stuff, so I've taken over this bathroom. So we just have our guitars and ukulele hanging here. Another love chair, some plants, and I don't even know what my fiance keeps in here. It's just like storage, but like make it look pretty. Okay, so now we're on the second floor of the apartment townhouse. Um, I'll take you quickly to this bathroom. It's just a, a nice sink, toilet, and tub. I do dream of one day having a bigger place and a much more luxurious bathtub and creating a spa-like energy. This is the master bedroom. Before I moved in, everything was really clean, but there wasn't much color. I didn't want to do too much. I have to have a good balance of making it not too feminine, but still making it cozy and comfy. So I feel like I reached it. I love these hanging plants. Add some greenery to the house. These are my favorite lamps ever. They look expensive, but they're from Ikea. And my favorite part about this whole room is that wallpaper on the closet right there. Crazy tropical dream. We definitely don't have tropical dreams in Toronto. Oh, and there's my little panther right there. Hi, sweetie. Wow. Just a little camera shy, I'm sorry. This is my closet. I would show it to you, but it's an absolute mess and it's stuffed to the brim because there's no storage and closet space. I'll give you a quick peek, but that's it. Okay, there you go. That's all you needed. Okay, so this room was mostly a guest room, but you know, with the current circumstances, it's kind of become the catch-all everything room. You know, we have the extra guest bed here. I've hung all my hats on the wall. And over here is my little corner for a desk. So this room has kind of become the overflow closet, the extra bedroom, the extra guest room, my desk space, and anything else we really want it to. We have to make use of of all the space. So I have an overflow closet hanging rack right here. And I hope to one day just have an actual closet. That would be nice. All right, and this is my favorite part of the whole unit. Come on out. I love that you kind of turn this corner and you're like, bam. Hello, Toronto. You get a whole beautiful view of the skyline of the CN Tower. So this view in this patio is my favorite part of the whole unit. It's a little bit of outdoor space that makes you just take a deep breath and enjoy the skyline. So enjoy. <laughs> Next up, Cabbage Town. Hi, my name is Cleo. I live in downtown Toronto, Canada. I live in a neighborhood called the Church Wellesley Village on the border of Cabbage Town and the Church Wellesley Village. I live in a 40 floor high rise building and the view is pretty incredible. I pay $2,300 a month for my condo. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom. I have a small balcony. The condo is, I think, 868 square feet total. I live by myself. I did have a roommate for five of the six years that I lived here, but she left at the top of the year. So now it's just me and all my space. The living room is where I do most of my work from home, uh, most of my relaxing, obviously movie watching, Netflix and chilling, binge watching Netflix, you name it, we do it all here. Welcome to my kitchen. It is a really great sized kitchen. I love it. I have all the normal stuff, a good stove, oven, dishwasher. As you can see, I have a ton of storage space in the kitchen as well, which is great because I do love to cook. Uh, I have a full-size fridge, full-size freezer, um, all that good stuff. So it's a, it's a good space to have. Uh, in Toronto, in condo buildings, most of the time we're really lucky and we have ensuite laundry. So this is a godsend. I've lived in apartments where I've had to go to laundromats before and it sucks. Welcome to my bedroom. I love it here. I think the best part of my room is actually the view. I also have an ensuite bathroom with a full bathtub and all that good stuff in there as well. This is the second bedroom, also known as 
the boom boom room. This is just the spare room that I have in my place. I have extra closet space. I have my really great record player and all my Beyonce albums to play for everyone. So that's about it for the apartment tour. I appreciate you joining me. Thanks for stopping by.